Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today we're going to talk about 4 gig graphics cards and what you can mine. As everyone knows that the 4 gig graphics cards you are unable to mine Ethereum. What else is there to mine? For the month of February I will be mining Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa. It's probably not the most profitable coin to mine at the moment with 4 gig graphics cards, but we're going to see what coins we can garner over the next month. I've currently got two 4 gig graphics cards, an RX 480 4 gig and an RX 570. I've started mining with these two cards from the 1st of February and will be mining till the end of Feb. To see how much Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa we can mine. Currently these two cards are generating about 50 mega hash per second and consuming about 189 watts. My overclock settings for these two graphics cards which are exactly the same. I've set the core clock to 1150. Our voltage to 900. Our memory timings to 1. And I've set the memory frequency to 1900, just to confirm that both cards are exactly the same. Core frequency at 1150, voltage at 900, memory timing at level 1, and the memory frequency at 1900. Currently I'm mining Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa with Phoenix Miner. I will go through the steps on how to set up the miner and the bat file. The pool that we will be using is easel.me. I will leave the link in the description below. So to start mining these two coins, we need addresses for both coins. I will be using Exodus wallet as this allows you to save both coins in the specific wallet. So we've got our Ethereum classic, click on the receive and there you've got your wallet for Ethereum classic. And if we go further down, we're going to look for the Zilliqa. Click on Add. Search for Zor. Enable that specific coin. Click on Zilliqa and click on Receive to get your Zilliqa address. So now that we've got both addresses, we go back to the website easel.me. We're going to be mining ETC and Zor. We paste our Ethereum Classic address over there. We paste our Zill address over there. And we give it a worker name. Let's give our mining rig a name of 4 gigabyte cards. And there we go. So this would be your bat file for Phoenix Miner. So if you have Phoenix Miner on your specific server, all we do is copy uh, this bat file over here. Open up your Phoenix Miner folder, right click, click on new, click on text document. Let's give it a name of ETC plus Zill. Open the text file, copy the batch file information into that text file. Click on save. You'll notice that it is in a text file. All you do is you have to change the text to .bat. Enter, save the changes, and run the file. Give it a second to spool up. As you can see, we can see our two cards, RX 480 and RX 570. Once it's pulled up, it should be on about 50 mega hash per second. Your overclocks and undervolts might be different to mine. You might get better hash rates than I do. Once the bat file has been loaded and the cards have started mining, all we do is go back to the easel.me website. To monitor your service performance, we need to select both the ETC and Zill address. Copy that and paste it into the easel.me website. 
select etc and paste your dual mining address in on top and enter and there we go and this is where you can actually see your performance of your miner so currently my hash rate is 45 mega hash per second the current hash rate is 31 but it's still spooling up you can see how much etc that you'll be earning for the month how much zilliqa you'll be earning and the total value of coins that you'll be mining a month we should be earning about 82 cents per day but this is not the most profitable coin that you can mine on 4 gig graphics cards I'm just, I'm just showing you how to dual mine etc and zil we'll be dual mining for the month of february 2021 and see what we actually garner for the month on our 4 gig graphics cards hope you found this video informative and insightful please like subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos thank you for watching Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.